Smart plugs are one of my favorite products because they can turn any device into a smart one from lamps to coffee makers and even things like a flat iron. So that means no more oops moments when you're worried that you just might have burned the house down. Today, we're going to learn how to set up a wise smart plug in five simple steps. But before we jump into the setup, be sure to subscribe and like our channel so you don't miss any of our new tips, reviews, and how-to guides that are posted every single week. Plus, to learn more about smart plugs, check out our list of the best smart plugs and outlets for your home on safewise.com. It's also linked in the description box below. We really like Wise products because they're simple, easy to use, and cheap. This box comes with two plugs and it's like 20 bucks, which is fantastic. Best of all, they do a great job. And the Wise Smart Plug is no exception. The total setup took me about three minutes once I got my Wi-Fi password right. So here we go. First of all, you're gonna download or open the Wise app. If you don't have an account already set up, you're gonna to need to create one. But we're gonna skip that step and pick things up after we've all got a Wise account ready to go. Next, you're gonna power up the Smart Plug. Go ahead and just put your plug right into an outlet. It just plugs on in. You need a three-pronged outlet. And then you should see a flashing blue light. It's gonna be right in this corner. If you don't see the light, you wanna press and hold the button on the side of the plug. This is the power button. And that should reset your plug and get it ready for pairing. Three, add the smart plug to your WISE app. Go into the WISE app and it should open to the home screen. If not, just hit the home icon at the bottom of the screen. Now touch the plus sign in the upper left corner of the screen. Here's a note. The instructions that came with my wise plugs told me to touch the three dots on the screen, but that just takes you to the rules. So I think the app has been updated since the quick start guide was created. Once you're in the home screen, a menu is going to pop up with three actions that you can take. So you want to select add device. Then you're going to get a list of devices you can add. Search the list and select wise plug. Four, pairing the plug. At this point, I just hit next because my plug was already flashing blue to let me know that it was ready for pairing. The next steps connect your WISE plug to your Wi-Fi network. Here are a few notes. Be sure you have your Wi-Fi password ready and correct. I moved recently and put my new password in incorrectly by just one uppercase letter and the plug would not connect. Second, the Wise Smart Plug does not work with a 5G network, so I had to make sure to disconnect from my 5G and use the 2.4 gigahertz network instead. So now that you're all better prepared than I was, enter your network password and hit next. Your next step is gonna connect your phone to a WISE network that the plug creates so that you can control it. So select choose Wi-Fi. This will take you out of the WISE app and into the network settings on your phone. Once you're in settings, you'll see a network called WISE Smart Plug, and then there's gonna be an AP followed by a series of three numbers. Join that network and get back into the WISE app. Finally, you finish the setup. Basically, when you get back to the WISE app, it should say it's connecting. But there's some troubleshooting tips for this part. It takes several seconds to connect the plug to your network. So if it's taking too long, there might be something wrong, like my mistake in my Wi-Fi password. If you just can't connect, try these solutions. Make sure you're not using a 5G Wi-Fi network and re-enter your Wi-Fi network password. If those don't work, it could be one of these issues. If you're on iOS 13 or higher, you're gonna need location services turned on for the WISE app. And if you have an Android phone, you may need to turn off your cellular data because it can interfere with completing the connection. If none of that works, forget your home network, rejoin it, and start over. Once the connection is successful, you'll be prompted to name your device. Enter a name. I used the room that the plug is in, but you can do whatever makes sense to you. After you enter the name for your plug, hit finish, and that should be it. After setup is complete, you have options to share the plug with others in your home, set up schedules and automations, and best of all, start controlling anything you plug into your WISE outlet through your phone. When I finished setup, I got a notice that my plugs had a firmware update available. If you get a notice like that, be sure to upgrade your firmware. This is important for privacy and security, so never skip this step for any of your smart devices. It only took me a few minutes, and now I have the most updated security patches and other fixes that WISE added for any bugs or issues that the company has discovered. 
That's all you need to know to successfully set up your Wise Smart Plug. But before we go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any of our how-to videos and product reviews that are posted at least twice a week. And if you've got the smart home bug, go to safewise.com for all of our recommendations about the best products out there and insider tips to take your smart home to the max. Until next time, enjoy your new smart plug and stay safe. Thank you.